Yes, hi good people, how are you, how are you doing? Welcome back to Pamba and all the, you know, where we get you the best of the best vlogs. Good people, we are taking you with us to the world one vlog at a time. I'm on a bike headed to church and I'm using the Northern Vipers. You know, I'm used to the Northern Vipers, you know, Nairobi. So this is the Kampala Northern Vipers. I'm here with you. Sydney, please say hello. <laughs> say hi. Yes, how was your name? Ah, perfect. Ah, hey. So he's taking me to his church. It's called Nalia, right? Yeah, Nalia, what you have is that's the church that the lady is in his church. He's inviting me to his experience, you know, the church of what you have. That you should know I've been going solo Want my love, baby, earn it Yeah Dancing on my own See if you can follow Got me feeling alive Watch me go Thoughts of you Like a wave returns to the sea Into the blue They change but in a cycle That I can't lose Each painful but delightful To live through You came into my life Just like a night season not for long, just a time Just like another season Maybe this time next year
The seasons come and go like thoughts of you Like a wave returns to the sea into the blue They change but in a cycle that I can't lose Each painful but delightful to live through You came into my life just like another season Not for long, just a time Just like another season Maybe this time next year people we just arrived so we are in the compound now we want to walk inside the church there's lots and lots of cars parked around here and more are still arriving the entrance is on the other side here yeah, that's the entrance so most of the people are just arriving Ogada who is your friend which friend see pastor Bob. I want to ah. meet her already yeah she, she might be here or maybe at worship harvest market Makerere. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's in it's town. So, we don't say Makerere. Yeah. Makerere. <laughs> Makerere. Ah, ah. Makerere University. Makerere. Makerere. <laughs> <laughs> so that's the say. correct pronunciation. Makerere. Yeah. Makerere. Worship oh, Harvest Kayanza. Mm. So worship has already started. We are a team bit late. That's the church. You can already see it and hear some singing. <laughs> Mm. To turn it, yeah. Let me turn it by the. Let me turn my camera so that you guys can see the church itself. But, but the sun is against these. Okay. But yeah, this for real. This, this is how you are welcome to church. Look at how they welcome you know guys to church with photo taking and everything you look great you're beautiful so glad you're here i love your smile you light up the room you're beautiful look at that hey look at how people are welcome to church over here ah, it's so good to see you you're really something special you're beautiful i like your style so glad you're here wow let me see yours let me see smile I bet you make babies smile. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> that has been good. Really, this is how they welcome people to church. Yeah. Wow. That's beautiful. I like that. So let's get in and go to worship God over here. <laughs>
Lord your God.
anybody else? Wow, what a glorious day to receive the Lord. Wow, what a powerful work about building God's house. Oh, and that we all get an opportunity to be a part of it. Awesome. Let's pray. Now, friends, you're going to pray after me. Is that okay? The Bible says that with the heart, one believes for righteousness, but with the mouth, confession is made for salvation. Just the same way, like when someone gets married, they just say words. And then when they are finished, they are married. Even you, you're just going to say words. But when you're done, you belong to Christ. 100%. Oh, yes. Not even one little bit will be left in the world. Oh, yes. Is that okay? So just pray this prayer with me. Say, Lord Jesus, Lord Jesus today, today I, will receive you I receive you as my Lord and Savior. As my Lord and Savior. Forgive me my past. Forgive me my past. And give me a future. And give me a future. With you. With you. I acknowledge you. I acknowledge you. As my Lord. As my Lord. As my Savior. As my Savior. I confess. I confess. That you were raised from the dead. That you were raised from the dead. That you reign forever. That you reign forever. And that you're inviting me to your kingdom. That you're inviting me to your kingdom. Jesus name. Jesus name. Amen, 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 amen. Now, I want you to point to your one finger like this as if you're warning someone. And say, Satan, from today, between you and me, it's over. It's over. You cannot talk to me. You cannot talk to me. You cannot come into my life. I now belong to Jesus. Amen. God is shout for these wonderful brothers and sisters. Now, this is, we're here every Sunday, 9 o'clock and 11.30 for the young ones. Oh, both. Some of us, we are here from morning till evening. So anytime you come, we'll be here. So feel free to come back next Sunday and the next Sunday and the next Sunday, and the next Sunday, and the next Sunday. But this is Pastor Kathy. I want you to go with her just over there. She will take your names so that we can be praying for you. Is that okay? All right. Can we celebrate it as they go with us? Yes, good people, we are out of church. Yes, and I've received Christ, as you've seen, you know. As your, who? As your Lord and personal who? Yeah, as Save my you. Lord and personal Savior. I've received a card. They've even offered me a card over here that is written, I'm the one that loves Jesus. It's worship harvest, you know, Nalia Church. So it's written, I confess with my mouth that Jesus is Lord and believe in my heart that God raised him from the dead. I receive you, Jesus, as my personal Lord, King, Commander, and Savior. I welcome you Holy Spirit into my life to rescue and empower me and restore me to intimacy with my Heavenly Father. And then my name and the date for today. So basically, that's what it entails to receive Christ because it's all about faith. You believing in your heart that you've received Christ. And the service was good. I love the church. I love how lively the service was. How people, you know, just stand from nowhere and want to experience God, you know. Yes, before I talk too much, oh let's hear God. from you, please, <laughs> what you've learned and what you've really taken away from today's service as Sydney Ogada, my friend, please. So what teaching, have you taken away from? The teaching today was from the book of Haggai, mm -hmm. Haggai 1, verses 7 to 8. Yes, how may you says, remember? Yeah. Ah, you are paying attention, <laughs> yeah. I see. Uh -huh. It says, go up. Mm -hmm. God instructed the people of Israel to go up to the mm -hmm. mountain mm -hmm. to bring down the timber mm -hmm. to build, build the build. temple. Yeah, go up, and bring down, up build. Means in this current life, mm -hmm. you have to surrender. Mm -hmm. You have to surrender everything. You have to surrender your work. You have to surrender everything mm -hmm. and start worshiping God. Mm -hmm. And then by bringing down, mm -hmm. it means like you have to give. Mm -hmm. You have to give back to God. And anytime yeah. you give to yeah. God, Giving. He gives you more. Tithes, and, offerings. Yeah, yeah, name them. And Lord said, like, there is no way his children can give more than him. Mm. So that means if you give God, for example, 20k, mm. he's gonna give you triple, double. Yeah, that, yeah? yeah if you give him little, he's mm. gonna give you little. Mm. And uh, you build. 
mm. by building the church of God. It's, he has to receive Christ like we've done. Yeah, yeah. Team yeah. Jesus. I'm Team Jesus. I'm the one that loves people. Let's move a bit back. And, yeah. and so for you, you don't have to be like a pig, yeah? You know, yeah, a pig yeah. when it's washed, eh? Mm -hmm. So today you've been cleansed. Yeah, you don't have to go back to the no, mud to like a pig <laughs> again to swim <laughs> in the mud. Yeah. But yes, basically what I've also taken away, I love how you've recapitulated the whole thing. Yeah. The other part of the someone was talking about giving careful thoughts to your ways. What are you doing with what you have? You know, the, the Bible verse talking about you might plant more and harvest less. You might be drinking without getting filled. You might be eating but not having enough. You might clothe yourself with every manner of clothing and not feel warm. So it's not always about... And you might, and, and you might be mm -hmm. pocketing money and your holes are... Yeah, yeah, your they're empty. Holes, eh? Yeah, yeah, they, yeah, so it keeps being empty because they have holes. In Kenya keeps, they say, uh -huh. from Gongo. <laughs> I've never heard that by the way. <laughs> that means Mwizi Kwamgongo, like anytime you have money, someone is on the pocket. Eh? Taking that taking money. money yeah. yeah, by the and also there was uh, the bit of you're working hard but you're not enjoying your money. There are other people who are enjoying your money. So you need to have careful thoughts to your ways. And it doesn't always mean that when that is happening to you that that kind of misery where you're not getting filled whenever you're drinking or not having enough whenever you're eating. It doesn't always mean that, you know, you're in bad books with God or you've, you've wronged God. It might be you're suffering because of your own loyalty and, and being, you know, faithful to God. You might not have bribed to get your tender. That's why you are in suffering. You didn't want to, you know, to sleep with the boss to get the job. So things of that sort because you are faithful to God and you believe in God and you just want to, you know, be good with him. So it's not always about you wronged him or anything of that sort. I hope you've enjoyed the service. Yep. Me personally, uh, I'd love to come back here again and again and again. I don't want to snatch someone and see what they learned from today's service. I don't know whom I can snatch. Let me see. Who looks snatchable? Why are you going? You're supposed to help me snatch just someone. Snatching someone, not yes. me. Yes, <laughs> please. Go okay, let me ask one. Let me go see if I can find someone. Just randomly. <laughs> yes. Hi. You're good. I wanted to talk to you. Just a little bit. I was recording something. I wanted to just know what was your takeaway in today's service. Well, uh, I what is your name first? My name is Kevin. Kevin. Yes. It's a pleasure that you've accepted to talk to me. Thank you. So much. Yes. What was your takeaway? Well, my takeaway was one. Mm -hmm. I, I, I learned to, to mm -hmm. I learned uh, to, to go to this house. Yeah, and, yeah. And, uh, which, which I didn't know. Mm -hmm. I wasn't saying what the body was. Mm -hmm. And then finishing my mind. And yeah. I'm sure it was privileged. So you, it has taught you to give more. Yes. It, yeah, because actually in giving, we receive. Yes. And yeah, Kevin, I appreciate you. Go and build God's church. Give more. Thank you. Thank you for talking to me. Okay, be blessed. Yeah, I love that he's accepted to talk to me. That's lovely. Okay, one last person, maybe like a lady. Let me see if I can grab someone. Someone over here who looks wonderful in red. Let's see if they can talk to me. Hello. Hi. Can I disturb you for a moment? <laughs> you can stand here just for a moment. I've seen someone who is looking wonderful in red. Look at the beautiful lady. Look at her. You look good. Yeah, you look lovely. Red is my favorite color. And you've killed it. You've smashed it. Yeah, what is your name? My name is Christine. Christine. It's a pleasure to meet you, Christine. Yeah, so today I just wanted to get a version of what you've taken away from today's service because personally I've enjoyed it, I've had my own takeaways, but you, as Christine, what have you taken away from today's service? Um, today someone uh, I've mm -hmm. learned to, to give you passionately. Mm -hmm. Whatever I have, mm -hmm. I have to do it. Without him, I couldn't have it. Yeah, to give and to give cheerfully, right? Wow, thank you so much, Christine. Go give cheerfully and build God's church. I appreciate you. Yeah, thank you. Have a good day. All right, I think that that's enough. I've had two people speaking to me, and that was just wonderful. Yes, Can he this talk is my to friend, us? By the way. Yes. He, uh, he will tell you more about the MC. friend. Hi. Hi. You good? Yeah. What is nice. your name? My name is Ezra. Ezra. Yeah. So oh, you worship here. Yes. 
Wow. You work together? No. no. Ah. We work together in the house of the We work together in the house of the Lord. <laughs> How did you guys meet in the first place? I think he came to our MC, a mission of community. Oh, hey, you go to mission the community. community. Yeah. Explain what a mission of community uh, mission what is. What is it community. about? Yeah, yeah. So, mission of communities mm -hmm. um, groups so, of. 20 to 30 people mm -hmm. just do life together. Mm -hmm. We pray together, as we friends, play together, we eat together, we grow together, and we go out to impact the world together. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so that's what we do in Mission Community. Mm -hmm. Every Wednesday. Yeah. Every Wednesday, mm -hmm. 6 p.m., we are buying it. People don't want to go back home. Mm -hmm. What's the name of our Mission Community? Our Mission Community is called Gate of Heaven MC. Gate of Heaven. Gate. Oh, in yeah. Sydney, how did you know about the Gate of Heaven? How did you um, get to know I was about introduced it? by someone here. Mm. So I came here one Sunday and someone, no, because someone who was sitting next to me were discussing about MC mm -hmm. and she was like, her name is Joy actually. Mm -hmm. She's a Mugole, a oh, coming yes. Mugole. Mugole is, is like a bride. bride. Yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. <laughs> so she told me, yeah, you can come to JOH and uh, that's how I met Ezra. Ah, Ezra, before we talk too much, what was your takeaway from today's service? From today's service mm -hmm. is that. Building God's house uh -huh. is the biggest sacrifice you could ever make. Worshipping mm -hmm. and all that, mm -hmm. you're just preparing your heart. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but so the sacrifice is actually giving mm -hmm. and building God's house. Mm -hmm. yeah. That's my takeaway. Wow. And yes. surrendering. Yeah. 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 That's a good one, Ezra. Thank you so much. So I was actually looking forward to meeting, you know, Pastor Barbara, you said. So she's, she's not, not she's a Porsche Barbara. You've not seen her? You can go and meet Pastor Apostle Mose. <laughs> <laughs> Who's that? Where is he? Apostle Mose. Mm -hmm. He can take him. Yeah, he's, he's the our, boss. our lead pastor. Uh -huh. He's you the one who concluded the service. Oh, yeah, the one who prayed for us who received Jesus today. Exactly. Yes. Ah. He can meet us. Um, I think she's very busy. Yeah, you know he's she'll very be busy, busy right now. Yeah, yes, sure. yes. Yeah, he's very yeah. busy. Was it a chance to meet the lead pastor who was <laughs> praying and preaching that for us? That is like meeting Jesus. Ah. You might see up more. You touch his clothes like this. You receive the grace of God. Jesus, see <laughs> Anywhere me. you walk, yeah? yeah. You just be receiving money. Mm -hmm. Just be doing it. <laughs> But that's quite something. So good people, I hope you've enjoyed today's sermon. I really have personally and I wish I was still around to be able to enjoy this service more. Thank you. And they can me. follow it on YouTube, Worship Harvest. Oh yeah, by the what's their YouTube channel? Worship Harvest. Worship Harvest. Malia. Uh, yeah, if you don't have a community where you worship, maybe you can check it out and you know, yeah. just plug in maybe for today or for the next coming Sundays and enjoy the service with God's people over there. Subscribe and join them so we'll uh, oh so she's Make your Christian. friend yes. i've actually met her and we, we've spoken with her here on my <laughs> so even christine is ezra's friend look at that <laughs> i didn't know there's a friend of mine whom i'm supposed to meet francis i think he's coming here in a few minutes or so maybe he might even be calling i need to check up if he's trying to reach me out so that's what I'll do for now. Keep tuned, stay tuned, and then we'll catch up. Yeah, Sydney wants us to eat some daga, some omena over here. Is there some posho? Yeah, so we'll be eating the uh, daga here with posho. <laughs> Sydney. Yeah, where is posho? Oh, this is the posho. That's the ugali. They call it posho over here. So, yeah. You, can you open it for us, we see? Ah, you're adding soup. I know, don't. <laughs> well, that's the portion now. This is how it's covered. Wow. Someone is coming from church very hungry. Yeah? <laughs> I, just, I, I love Jaka. Yeah, love it, it's looking good. So this is how it's prepared so that it gets hot. Yeah, the posho is there. So how many more minutes? Yeah, we want to eat the posho. 30 minutes. For this one. For the dagger to be ready. Yeah. This one. Hey, I tomatoes are ready. It's already ready. It should be ready in two minutes. I pour water. Ah. Mm. If it boils, you want to pour another water? Hey, yes, I'm going to add water. Hey, no, don't add me don't some water. Add, hey. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> don't add water. This is a second. It's the one who played. Ah. Oh, you want it to be a lot. Yeah. Oh, okay. But you'll serve us without water. So how, so how much is the is the portion with the omena? 3k. Oh, it's 3k. <laughs> wow. 
There's plenty of food. So what you will do, here. eh? Plenty of You'll food. You'll serve stuff. me without water. I'll pay 10k. <laughs> <laughs> no, really. By the way, because it's good without too oh, much. Ni, yeah. Oh, yeah, true. Wow. Look at how the posho is covered. Now, okay, if you serve me without water, how much? You, that, that, is, uh, that, that is a piece of beef that I can taste. There are one on the plate. <laughs> <laughs> can I taste? <laughs> <laughs> There's this, the, this piece, the piece of beef here, the one I was asking, and these are the ingredients with more roiko salt over here. It's been prepared, and she's uh, peeling some Irish potato for fries. Is that one for chips? Oh, okay. This is the food booth over here. So as we wait for Francis, we can be eating over here. Francis is lost. Sydney is bargaining for that so that they don't add soup. There's no green veggies. No green veggies. So we can just eat the omena then. Okay, let me put a little water at least. Then you serve us. Little milk. They can't, customers can't take it in. So yes, Francis is keeping us. I don't know, he's lost along the way. So he's trying to dress his way here. So we we'll just take a break and eat omena over here. So we'll... Stop, stop the video so they can share the small video. Oh, okay, yeah. It's all right. Oh, milk. Your customers will love it. Oh, maybe, yeah, Sydney is trying to see if the Daga can be. The yeah, <laughs> Sydney wants to take over the kitchen over here. So he's trying to say they add milk to the Daga. So he wants milk in there. So we take a seat and maybe wait for the food to be ready. But this, this whole area here is called Nalia. This is the Nalia area. There's a junction over there that goes to Namgong. There's peanuts. Yeah. Oh wow, this is the peanuts. I turned my camera, but yeah, good people. That's peanuts. We should eat. Definitely, I want peanuts. Look at that. Yeah. It looks scrumptious just by the look of it. So we'll eat. Peanuts can be eaten with omena. Yes. Oh, yeah. perfect. So peanuts, so omena, and portion. Say it right to your customer. How much is it? Over there. Yeah. It depends on what you want. Sydney is still insisting on getting milk in the daga. So he wants to go buy so that they can add in the daga before we do the servers. We can buy it, but maybe your customer will refuse to eat. Yeah, true. Exactly. Yeah. Then you put the water, right? Mm. Thank you very much. She so, agreed. Wh why do you love milk in daga, though? Instead of water, at least you add milk. Uh -huh. Yeah. We you love yourself that much, eh? <laughs> so in, in, instead of water, we'll add milk in the daga. So we go for milk. Yeah, without water. With milk. Or with milk. Oh. She's opening up the matoke. That's the matoke. It's being opened up. Can't fall. Wow. Look at that. Voila. That's the matoke over there. To mingle it. Plenty of it. And then it will oh, like this. Tomatoes in there. So she wants to pour tomatoes inside the matoke over here. Uh, ah. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> that's the delicacy. Matoke and the fried. Tomatoes over there, so this is pouring the tomatoes on Let top. Let me bring the milk. <laughs> so Sydney is going to grab some milk to add to the daga. Mm -hmm. Look at how scrumptious the matoke looks. Very plenty, it's in plenty, plenty. Look at that. Wow. Let's wait for Sydney to bring the milk we add to our daga, then we serve and devour very seriously. Because actually I haven't eaten something, anything since morning. I took a bottle of water because we were rushing to catch with the service. We didn't want to be late, so I didn't quite eat a thing. So this will be like breakfast come lunch, which is quite a heavy one. It's very satisfactory.
Oh, you've added Royco. Yeah. She's added Royco to the dagger to spice it up. <laughs> Look at how red it looks now. Very tasty, tasty. With the matoke. So yeah, let's wait for Sydney to come by. Let me give myself a seat over here and wait for Sydney. It's already brought milk over there. There's the Jessa milk, so we want to add to our daga over here and devour it. Let's see how it will come out. You're not adding the tomatoes. I'm waiting for you to add. <laughs> you want to add the The, the tomatoes to the matoke. Uh, oh, okay. I'm just waiting. I want to see how it will come out because it's already full. So she just wants to add the tomatoes over there. Look at that. Wow. And that's how it's fried. You know. <laughs> They fry the tomatoes and the onions aside and then pour it on, on the matoke. Looks very scrumptious. Look at that. Huh? Some is just going outside. Oh no. <laughs> Some is going outside. But it looks good. Look at that. Wow. Hmm? Now that's fried matoke, ready to be devoured. Sydney is waiting, chilling for his omena. That is beef. Oh, that's some beef on the other saucepan. That's beef. So there's beef, there's matoke, there's the ginats over there, I think some rice, and the ugali, the portion. So basically, oh yeah, that's the beef being stirred over there. So yeah, let's wait for our daga over here. Move for me. We're waiting for, for Francis. Yeah. So she's putting the tents in. There are two tents over here, so that's for the food book. Okay. Not sitting. Let me take a seat. We wait for Francis here as we devour our food. Yeah, good people, our food is here. This is the ginads that has been served. We have the posho, which is ugali in our Kenyan language. And this is the daga after Sydney got the milk. So that's the daga omena, a.k.a with the milk over there. So you have to devour and enjoy this. Oh, that's mine. Yeah, I'm going to add more. Okay, this is my plate that we are going to share. Yeah, that's okay. Yeah. Is there some pepper? Yeah. Chili. Chili. You have chili? There's no chili? It's okay. It would have been so good with the chili or the pepper. This is the pepper? Mm. Is it bitter enough? Yes. Ah, you're sure? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you can just put a little there. Mm. So Francis has finally arrived after he's kept us until we decided to eat. Francis, say hi. <laughs> say hello. <laughs> How are you? Sour, sour. I am good. You think you know all Swahili? You know sour, sour. <laughs> no, no, I don't know. <laughs> Okay, good people, let me just wash my hands and devour this. Yeah, for now. Sydney is overjoyed by that. He's just opened his channel. You can check it out. Yeah, and posted his first video. It's called My First Video on YouTube. And he has three subscribers, you say? Me, me you, him, three subscribers. Oh, yeah, so around four subscribers so far. You can check him out, my friend Sydney, and support him. He's yet to open a channel. Let, me, let them see Sydney. <laughs> Yes, yeah, there. Sydney is there. Yeah, follow, like, subscribe, <laughs> and share. I can even give you the WhatsApp number. <laughs> yeah. And you mix. <laughs> Sydney, surely. When are you opening yours? Tomorrow. Hmm. I'll be opening mine. Yeah. You had actually traveled. You share your experience. How, how was it? It was so cool. Mm -hmm. I have traveled all around the entire country, I think. East Africa uh -huh. and some parts of Africa. Uh -huh. So I'll be sharing my experience yeah, experiences. But then you should open a channel. And uh, soon I'm going to be in Kenya. Uh -huh. So we'll doing some recordings also. In Nairobi. You Nairobi come, I show people, you I'm route. coming. I'm coming. Yeah. So finally, I'm um, <laughs> actually I'm still finishing my Mirinda here, the Apple version of it. It's not commonly found in Kenya, but it's I think it's widely found here in Uganda, right? So the Mirinda apple, it's quite sweet, very scrumptious. I've enjoyed our meal. We've still, we are still just here at the food booth over here. So we are headed. I, I think you're the one who knows where we are headed, actually. Where are we headed? 
subscribe, mm -hmm. like, no. turn on the notification. We shall show you our going. Oh yeah, that's a good one by the way. That's a good one. I didn't see that coming. But yes, let's just uh, keep it's, going around. It's getting more fun. Yeah, While going, yeah. it's more fun. Yeah, it's more you'll, fun. You'll like it. More fun than uh, the Mirinda Apple, right? Yeah, that I can even subscribe where to seen. my own YouTube channel. You can channel. subscribe to your own where? YouTube channel. Let me show the people how to subscribe. Uh, where is it? Okay, you go and search it. Um. Okay, oh, oh, click on that link. <laughs> Actually, Sydney is just happy. You should be as happy. Yeah, you should be happy as he is. Francis, happy. please start yours today. <laughs> okay, good people. Later, keep tuned. We'll show you more of where we are going after this. So, we are getting out of town. Yeah. So. Wow. So stay tuned. We'll show you where we are headed. Exactly. Bye bye for now. You've seen. You've no, subscribed. I've not seen no, just close so that they might. No, subscribe. no, it's okay. Where is it? You opened. Let me see. Where is the video? It's here. Your bag. Mm, down here, it should, there should be an option over here for subscribe. I'll show you. Mm. Let me let me check around and show him how to subscribe to his own YouTube, subscribe channel. To my YouTube so, channel. Yeah, hey, good people, stay I'm tuned. Not office. No, why are you <laughs> so I'll show you guys where uh, we are headed after that. here. Logan so just yes. keep tuned. And Some keep enjoying Ogada our videos. Sydney. Yes, Ogada Sydney. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I have to have 30k subscribers and Francis by close of Francis, business. you better come soon. Ah! Hey. At Ogada's channel. Travel. We are bringing you 360. 360. <laughs> and Francis Lubega coming soon. He's coming opening. Soon. He's very, very soon. So we are leaving the Nalia place. I think this, this, yeah, this place is called Nalia. I can't see my second video. It's Subaru Uganda. Subaru Uganda now. Eh? Yeah, Subaru Uganda. Hey, this so. is the Subaru Uganda. Yeah. <laughs> so we are boarding the Subaru, the Ugandan Subaru, to the leave Mustang. Nalia. It's mm -hmm. called the Mustang. Mm. I go on the other side. It's called a Foresta. I think yeah, it's a Foresta over there. Let me go on this other side. So that we can leave the Nalia place peacefully. <laughs> this place is full of food stuffs, and it's actually lunchtime, so many people are coming here to grab food and everything. There are fries, people cooking fries and all. We just 